Hi, my name is Dan Toms, and I'm one of Oakley's biggest fans. So I'd like to show you some of my collection, why I should be part of this competition, and one of the winners. All right, up here we have everyone's favorite glasses, the x medals. I've got one of every pair except for the half X, but I'll be getting one of those pretty soon. And down here is my vintage shelf. I have every grip that has ever been made, including both variations of the grip too. In the center I have the Oakley eye shades, and I also have a pair of shoe ones, which are actually autographed by Jim Janet himself. And down below I have the artist series, and each one of these is one of the original releases. I have both David Flores as well as the C100. All right, up at the top here is my Monster Dog collection. I don't have them all, but I've got quite a few, including some of the rarer ones like the Tribal and the 10W40. In the next row, I have my Tiger print frames as well as some of the other leather wrapped ones in the Mars. On my next one, I have my collection of frog skins and jackets. Okay, my last cabinet over here, I have one of the Pride collections. I have my collection of original Zeros and Sub-Zeros. On my next shelf I have uh, some original M-Frames. I have one of every lens type. I even have an original Mumbo, which is what they were called before they were M-Frames. On the next shelf I have some M-Frame Slashes. I'm going for the complete set and I'm just missing two. On my last shelf I have some of the newer Zeros. I have the Zero Fours, the Zero Sevens, and I even have a prototype Ruby Zero. Now of course I love all of my Oakley glasses, but there are a few that I like most of all. One of them is the suede straight jackets. These are extremely hard to find, and they're also hard to keep clean since they do discolor very easily. This is my very first pair. It's an ice splice, and this is pretty much what started it all. And since I like the splice so much, I just had to get every pair that they ever made. And even once I was done with that, I started customizing so I could have even more. Now one of the most coveted pairs are the Zero Threes. And I have both the Zero Three and the Zero Three P. Not only that, but I have the rest of the zeros, the 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, as well as the Sub-Zero 1 through 6 and the N2T versions of both series. Now my favorite vintage pair is my original Oakley goggle. It also comes with the original box. Now it's not the greatest of shape, but considering how it's 28 years old, that's not too bad. I also have a collection of eye shades, which are Oakley's first pair of eyeglasses. Now Oakley started it with the grips, so what I've done is I've actually gone out and gotten every single grip they've made. I started out with the original Oakley grip, the Oakley grip 2, which actually came in two different models, and then I started out with the B2 guidance system, the B1B, and the F1. After that, the grip 0.5 and the grip 3 came out, and I got those too. Now one of the most rare pairs I have is this purple cloud frame. There was an official sky blue pair, but I've never seen one listed with a purple frame. Now at this point, I wanted to have a handy catalog of all the Oakley glasses. Often when a pair of glasses was discontinued, it was gone forever. So I started cataloging all of these glasses online. People showed up, started reviewing, and to date I have almost 8,000 reviews and 3,500 pairs of glasses cataloged. I've also gone into apparel, goggles, and other products of that. I also have a vibrant community of over 100 people that all actively talk about Oakley every single day. We have collections, we have wish lists, we even have a wiki where people can add information about Oakley so the whole collective community can add to this knowledge base. Now in our spare time we also create movies. And what we've done is we've taken Oakley glasses and we've littered our movies with Oakley references. In our first movie, Duct Wars, we used glasses and apparel for all our costumes. And then after that, we made Zombie Forest. And actually the whole plot of this was to destroy a pair of Folkleys. At the very end, Jim Jander comes out and warns him against the Folkleys. Now in addition to my own love of Oakley, I've tried to get everyone else into Oakley too. I've got my whole family, my friends, 
Leaving my daughter when she was 44 minutes and 44 second olds wore Oakleys for the first time. When I knew she was being born, I rushed out and found a pair of half pints. When I found out she was actually a girl, I went and bought another pair. It's a pink this time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. mm. I can have a blooper on you.